Laylatul Jummah, that the Jummah in the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad and that all in rows and rows the souls are moving to be in the presence and under the nazar of Sayyidina Muhammad Alhamdulillah for Allah's blessings with the turuqs and the tariqahs are in these front rows and asking to be dressed and blessed by the immensity and the ishq and the love and the nazar of Sayyidina Muhammad So immense blessings that when Prophet gave to us, you be with whom you love. Be careful who you love because if you love the wrong soul and you look to them and say, I don't want to be with you in this world of light. So it means whom you attach your heart to is a tremendous reality of where your soul is facing. When Allah describes, Ittaqullah wa kunum ma asadiqeen, fa'awzu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem, bismillahir rahmanir raheem, have consciousness and a deep consciousness, taqullah we describe that that it's a state in which all your senses are open and they have a reverence for Allah and keep the company of Sadiqeen whom their truthfulness in their deed and in their actions, not their claiming but in their deeds and in their actions. And as a result Prophet comes to give us its sweetness by teaching, you'll be with whom you love. Means if you obeyed Allah and understood a consciousness that you used your ears, your eyes, your heart, your sense, your breath, all the senses in which Allah gave to us to seek Allah's pleasure and Allah's satisfaction and then we would have been guided to the love of Sayyidina Muhammad Then Prophet gives to us that you be with whom you love. As a result, in this world of souls, our soul is attached to the one whom we love. So when we love Prophet it's moving into that reality and that's why Allah is like a loop, ittaqullah wa qulu ma sadiqeen because your soul is going to move higher into that presence, find those whom are ashiqeen. And when you find those real lovers of Sayyidina Muhammad and your soul bonds with them, you have a sincere love in their presence, you'll be with them, you'll be with whom you love. Not in this world, Allah doesn't care for the world. We can be here and we can be thousands of miles apart or you can be in the grave and they'll reach you. You'll be with whom you love and alam al arwa in the world of light is only importance for Allah that nobody cares in the heavens for this earth. There's not a reference to this earth that oh, we're going to be with each other. But that if you give your heart and give this ishq to Allah and you seek out those whom are truthful in their actions and their deeds, their truthfulness is a sign of their love and ishq for Sayyidina Muhammad For if they don't have that they have no truthfulness, otherwise Allah would have given it to them. And that's why in deeds and actions. Sadiq is not one whom claims themselves Sadiq but the ones whom deeds were pleasing to Allah Allah. There is no guidance except through Allah's guidance. Means had he found sincerity he would guide you to the love of Sayyidina Muhammad When he finds sincerity he guides his servant, he guides him or her to the Hadi, to the guide of Allah And as a result your love draws you into that presence. So then in our lives the secret was attach your soul to these ashiqeen, keep their company because distance makes no difference. Whether you're watching them from 5,000 miles away and you connect your heart your heart is with their heart because this is the hadith of Prophet You will be with whom you love. 
So you're sitting 10,000 miles away or you're sitting on the moon 300,000 miles away and you build a love. It's not from your flesh but that your soul loves them for the sake of Allah and His Rasul As a result you will be with them and they are with whom they love in the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad Yawmat al-Jumma then immense just by loving them wherever they are when you love them your soul is with them and on the day of Jummah they are in the nearest proximity. They see the throne of Allah they see upon that throne is the soul of Sayyidina Muhammad And they wait for the lights of Jummah to be dressed and the intercession of the holy Jummah. That the reason for Jummah is for the lights and intercession of Sayyidina Muhammad to dress the souls, to bless the souls, to activate all these realities that Allah want and gave to the nation that every seven days or six days, every time to Jummah to Jummah, I'm washing and purifying your nation and you're dressing them with your nazar. You dress them with your beauty and your grace and as a result the nation is pure and purified and presented to Allah's Divinely Presence as a purified and clean beautific nation in the light of their souls and the reality of their souls. We pray that Allah dress us and bless us with this ishq and understand the importance of fellowship, understand the importance of who you love. Imagine loving the wrong set of people. So I really love this person but they talk all over the place, their actions are all over the place. You look to yourself, well I'm going to be with this person on judgment day and I'm going to be in the association of those people on judgment day. That's why we don't watch just anyone, that's why we don't give our heart to just anyone because the hadith of Prophet you'll be with whom you love. Show me your friends, I show you who you are. But when all your friends are ashiqeen and all that you associate and your circles are ashiqeen which are the lovers of that reality, na ahlul dhikr, that they love Allah and their life and the entertainment of their life is seeking Allah's satisfaction, rida and satisfaction by entering his circles of paradise and praising upon his Divinely Presence. What do you think your station will be in hereafter if your dunya is that? But people think their dunya can be every type of garbage and hope their akhirah will be good. And it's like children who don't want to study and think they're going to come out with a good career. You didn't put anything into it, you're most definitely not going to get anything out of it. Faith, much more difficult. You put your blood, sweat and tears into it so that you can get the reward out of it from Allah Means we pray that Allah grant us this love, keep this love, keep us in the circles of His praise. Keep us under the umbrella of this love and ishq for Sayyidina Muhammad some holy companions and Ahlul Bayt and to be dressed by its lights, blessed by its lights and as a means of that light and that love that we're drawing near. That's why all these nuts are teaching not my actions but this ishq that draw me near and brought me close and granted me from all these lights and all these blessings was just from the sake of love and muhabbat, not any action, not any physical thing that I could have done and could have given. Subhana rabbika rabbal izzati amma yasifoon wa salaamun al mursaleen, walhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Bi hurmati Muhammad al Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al Fatiha. Shafat ya Sukhani. That was just appetizer, inshaAllah. <laughs> Next talk coming later. Let's continue. <laughs>